Hello there everybody, it is Tegan here again today and it is the beginning of day two of the Booktubeathon. It is currently 12.07 p.m. I woke up about an hour or so ago but I've just been watching people's Booktubeathon videos like their vlogs and challenges and stuff all morning so I haven't really read it all today so I haven't started the vlog yet but I'm going to start off today by hopefully starting and finishing a book. I decided that I would give Username Evie by Joe Sugg a go. This is a graphic novel. Uh, like I said in my TBR video, I have started it, but that was like literally a year and a half ago, and I don't remember anything that happened in it. So I'm going to be restarting it. And yeah, I thought I would start off today strong and hopefully start and finish this before I have to write my speech for my creative writing class and then I'll hopefully have more time to read after that but I will be hopefully starting and finishing this book off today and I'm very excited to be doing so. I love Joe, and I know this isn't the best graphic novel, I know it's not going to be the best written or the best art or anything like that but I'm still excited to read it. I do currently have a dog on my lap. Hello. <laughs> I'm the only one home, so he um he likes to come and hang out with me. Yeah. When we're just the only people home. He doesn't like to be alone. <laughs> so I'll have a dog with me pretty much all day today. So that's exciting. And yeah, I'm gonna start using a movie and I'm excited about it. So I will keep you guys updated on how I am going and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I just finished my third book of the Booktubeathon, which is insane because it's only the second day. And like, I know that they're not very long books, but I've still finished three books so far. And the that one that I just finished was Username Evie by Joe Sugg. I don't really know how to feel about it. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna come straight out and say it. I've never really read any graphic novels before. Um, I've never been super into them. I enjoy actual physical books just novels more and I did still give it three stars because I did enjoy the storyline and the artwork was beautiful um, I absolutely loved the art throughout it I'm just not so used to it not being so like proper English like it felt like more of like a kids book to me and I don't know but yeah I did enjoy it I loved the concept behind the story I think that's about all I'm gonna go into it until my wrap-up but yeah, I did enjoy it. There's just a few things that I had a little bit of an issue with. But like I said before I started reading it, it is a graphic novel. It's my first ever graphic novel I've read. And I know it's not the best graphic novel out there that I could read because it is by a YouTuber. It's not like an author that has sat down and written this book. It's by a YouTuber. So I'm not surprised that it probably wasn't the best one that I could have read. But I did enjoy it. It is currently 1.36 p.m. I did take a break in there to make lunch and eat lunch. But yeah, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from reading now. I read one book 
so far and I'm going to <laughs> finally write my speech that I have to do for creative writing uh, because that has to be done by tomorrow because I'm doing the speech tomorrow so I should probably write that. So yes, I'm going to write that now and I will come back to you or I'm going to at least start it now um, and I like, will come back to you in a little bit once I have either finished it or at least written majority of it and yeah so I will come back to you in a little bit with more reading progress and also probably when the video challenge for today is announced because I still want to do that as well so I will see you guys soon hello okay it is a little bit later now I've worked a little bit more on my speech I am definitely nowhere near finished with it but I've worked some on it it's getting there but the reading challenge or the video challenge for today was posted not too long ago and I am going to be giving it a go right now. So this one is from Monica from the channel She Might Be Monica and basically it's a house of books. So it's like a house of cards but you have to build it out of books <laughs> and you have to try and go as high as you can and you can't stack them on top of each other horizontally. I don't know if you can see but I've got a very large stack of books right there and I'm going to be giving this a go. I'm gonna be trying. We only have 30 seconds to do this so I know I'm not gonna do very well at it but I'm gonna be giving it a go. So I'm gonna move you guys so you can see it better and I'm gonna start. All right we're gonna give this a go in three, two, one. Okay, you can't even see the top of this right now, but Okay, I'm going to I'm going to show you, all right? Let's let's lift this up. All right, there's a book on top of here. <laughs> I'll move you back a little bit. There you go. There is my house of books. <laughs> So, there is the house of books. It's, I don't know how we're counting like height, but it was, we've got one, two, three, four, like horizontally, and then three stacks of them um, vertically. Um, and it looks like it's about to fall, <laughs> honestly. So I'm going to take it down. But there was my go at the house of books challenge honestly i'm pretty proud of myself for being able to do that in 30 seconds okay hello it is a bit later now it is currently 4 40 p.m and i have not read anything else today <laughs> i just haven't but i'm gonna be starting breathe by sarah crossan this was my pick for the challenge of beautiful spine because this literally has the prettiest spine that I've ever seen on a book. <laughs> I love it so much and yeah I'm gonna be reading this and it is the longest book that I'll be reading but it's still not like extremely long. It's 362 pages so I should still have no issue getting through this. I probably won't finish it tonight but I should finish it tomorrow. I've got a bit of time before uni starts tomorrow so I should have no issues finishing this within the next two days and so yes I'm gonna be starting this but before I do that I just went out and checked the mail and I got what I think is my 21 pilots ticket for December and so I'm gonna open it because why not um I'm oh it is a ticket I'm pretty sure it's my 21 pilots ticket um I don't think any other ticket would have come yet. I suck at opening envelopes. Oh my goodness. I love being able to open up an envelope. I'm just great at it. Okay, what is it? Ah, it is my 21 pilots ticket. 
Oh my god, okay, I'm so excited. I don't want to show you guys, like, any of the important numbers, so I'm just gonna, like, block out all of the numbers, but... Oh my god, okay, I'm so excited. It's on December 18th. I'm in front GA. Ah! Oh my god, okay. I'm so excited. It's at the same place that I saw them last time. I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> now that that's done and over with, um, I'm gonna probably start breathe now. I'm tired of working on my speech. <laughs> and I know I still need to finish it by tomorrow, but I'll, I'll get it done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start this and yeah, I'm really excited. So I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it is quite a few hours later and I've only read about 74 pages of Breathe. I'm really, really enjoying it so far now. I've just taken a lot of breaks, <laughs> um, <laughs> just a few, but I am genuinely really, really, really enjoying it. I love like dystopian books like I think it's no surprise to anybody if you've watched my channel before that I absolutely adore dystopian books they're one of my favorite genres of books to read so I was very happy when I picked this one up a little bit ago but I just never got into it so I'm happy that the booktubeathon is giving me a chance to finally get into it and finally read it but yeah I'm probably going to stop now it is currently 9 44 p.m and i do have a very long day of uni tomorrow i have to be up and going to uni by 7 30 and i still have to finish my speech i'm really enjoying this so far and let's see so what i've read today i read all of username evie by joe sugg which was around about 150 pages and then I have read 74 pages of Breathe by Sarah Crosden, which I am really, really, really enjoying so far. Where I am right now, I feel like this could be a five star book for me. So I'm excited to continue on reading it. I actually have a very long time before my first class tomorrow that I'll be at uni for because I get dropped off early on certain days. Um, and tomorrow is one of those days. I will have about two hours before my first class starts so I can spend those two hours reading this so I'll hopefully get a fair chunk of this done I did finish part one so I am on part two now I'm using this bookmark which is really cool I picked it up from my local bookstore but it says the things we love have a way of coming back to us in the end if not always in the way we expect and it's a quote from Harry Potter it's got Luna down the bottom there and I don't know I really love this bookmark and you know what it's appropriate I mean, it doesn't really have Harry Potter on it, but it's a Harry Potter bookmark and today is Harry Potter's birthday, so it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm going to end this vlog now because I don't think I'm going to read much more tonight and I need to get this edited and uploaded, so I got to do that. And yeah, I'm going to go, but today was a good day. I finished another book. I am three books down and 74 pages in. <laughs> and it's so insane because I uploaded my July wrap up the other day and I had read eight books, which is an insane amount for me to have read because I have not read that much in a month in a very long time. But I had read eight books, but now I've read 11 books. Like I've read... <laughs> Like today is the 31st of July. I've read 11 books in July. That is insane. Like I haven't read that much in a month in so long. <laughs> oh 
like I can't even like remember the last time I read that many books in a month so I'm very happy with that I'm very happy with myself for having read that much and yeah I'm excited for tomorrow and to continue on with the booktube a I probably won't get as much read tomorrow because like I said I do have uni from I'll be at uni from 8 to 6 tomorrow so it's a very long day for me and I don't have very many breaks apart from my long one at the beginning so I'll hopefully get some read tomorrow but yeah I'm hoping because I get home at 6 and then after that I don't have uni on Thursday so I don't have to like go to bed early or anything so I'm hoping to finish Breathe tomorrow. That is my goal is to finish it tomorrow. So fingers crossed. I've still got about 300 pages left of it so we'll see if I can do that but my fingers are crossed. I'm hoping I can do that and yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. I'm really enjoying Booktubeathon. I'm so happy that I decided to do it this year and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!